One of the flagship features in Chapter 1 of the Age of War is treasure, and today I'll be showing you how to establish your very first treasure room. This isn't a build guide, there will be some of those in the future, but today I'll just be walking you through how to set your treasure room up properly. For today's video we are back at the testing tower on the public beta client, where I've included a new room that we'll be using to keep our treasure hoard safe. Seeing as Chapter 2 will introduce a revamped purge that will be going straight for this treasure, it might be wise to put it somewhere safe right at the heart of your build, rather than suspended above the ground as it is here. Firstly, the requirements. To begin your hoard, you need to be level 20 to unlock the Treasure Coffer feat located under the Decoration menu in your Knowledge tab, costing 3 feat points. Also, as a side note, those FPO icons you see are due to us being in the public beta client, they won't be like that on the proper launch on live servers. Next you need to build your treasure coffer, which is the heart of your treasure room. This is in the clan section of the decoration menu of the construction hammer. It costs 15 shaped wood and 5 iron reinforcements, so not too expensive. When you go to place it, you'll see the area of effect. The radius is enormous. For context, this is the radius over a 10x10 10 10 base plate. It's also a huge sphere, much bigger than I expected, so your treasure rooms can be massive or across multiple levels. The coffer consists of a central chest and a relic hunter NPC who acts as something of an accountant. He keeps tally of your treasure, and as you can see, we are currently broke. Well, we can fix that. So I've been on a totally peaceful gallivant and gathered some treasure. I've collected a small trove of goods, including gold and silver, medium treasures like the Warhorn and the Harp, and even some heroic treasures like the chests, the Daketo Cat, and the Lemurian statue. To place these into the hoard, it's quite easy. Carry your treasure to the place you want to have them. For placeable treasures like the Daketo Cat, whilst you're carrying it, you walk in, press the placement button once, and that will reveal the placement mode and the treasure radius. Find a spot you like and hit the placement button again to place it down. This is true for medium treasures too, although they are placed from the hotbar, and when you actually place the item down, it counts towards your coffer. It will not count if you drop it by jumping, sprinting, or drawing a weapon, though. For the smaller treasures, like silver and gold coins, bars, etc., throw them into the central coffer chest. When you chat to the relic hunter, he'll give you the updated count. In total, we've now got 15,555 treasure. Additionally, if you want to decorate your treasure room with coin piles, that is done in the clan sub-menu of the decoration menu of the construction hammer. These coin piles come in three size varieties. Somewhat flat, slightly heaped, and heaped. Somewhat flat requires 100 gold coins, slightly heaped requires 100 silver coins, and the heaped pile requires 50 silver and 50 gold coins. They're then placed, like pretty much any other decoration, and they will contribute towards your coffer. So, to recap. At level 20, spend 3 feet points to unlock the Treasure Coffer feat under the Decoration submenu of the Knowledge menu. Build the coffer using 15 shaped wood and 5 iron reinforcements. Go out and liberate some treasure from NPC camps, and then come back and place them into your treasure coffer's radius as you would a decoration, and for coins, etc, place them in the chest. That will start to fill up your treasure hoard so you can build a good wealth of riches. That is, until the Stygians come to take them in Chapter 2. Thank you for watching, and of course a massive thanks to our wonderful esteemed coffee cultists over on Patreon. We'll be covering the clan banners next time, and I'll be doing a full treasure room build using the new building materials after the chapter launches. Again, thank you very much for watching, take care, and I'll see you soon.